Hey guys, what's going on? Yes, this is the Battlefield 2, 3. Excuse me, I'm uh, kind of losing myself a little bit. <clears throat> um, so what this gameplay is going to be about is going to be about the Battlefield 3. You're going to see me whip some ass in Battlefield 3 because I'm honestly, I swear to God, I don't know what's going on. I mean, well, I, I do know what's going on. I just... I can't really play Call of Duty anymore, man. It's just, every, 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 every day I play this game, which hasn't been for the past two weeks, but when I would play it, I would just, I would get emotional. I would just, just start crying. I would just cry because the game is so boring and, and, and the controls suck and I, I wasted $60 on it. And man, I cannot get enough of Battlefield 3. I just, I just, I really can't. And that what you're hearing right there, that beeping, that means my food is done. So I got to keep this video going for about 10 minutes, even though the video is about 11 minutes, maybe 8, 9 minutes, whatever the case is. Um, so, might be a little bit of delays in the videos, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, man, um, the, the week has been pretty good for me. Uh, so far, and uh, upgraded my PC uh, with an SSD, and that was about two weeks ago, week and a half ago, so two weeks ago maybe, SSD and upgraded the processor, and um, you know, today I was, you know, you know, going about my business and everything, doing my thing, whatever, and um, uh, my friend hit me up, he was like, yo, check out um, Battlefield, you know, the website. And I went on there. I know, I know the game was coming out, but damn, it was so soon. You know, I was like, please, please be a rumor. You know what I mean? Like, come on, come out next year or something like that. So what, what's gonna happen is Battlefield Four is not gonna come out, and um, it's not been confirmed yet. They're gonna do some kind of gameplay, and um, I mean, if you look at the rain, if you go on Battlefield uh, .com right now and you just look at the rain. <sighs> Just looking at the rain, just it just makes me happy inside. It's just warm inside, you know. So yeah, if you're asking Fabian, you just upgraded your computer, you're gonna have to do that shit again. It's a never-ending process. This is never gonna end. I'm always gonna be upgrading my computer every two years. Okay, this time I have to upgrade it again, like at the end of the year, uh, in 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 readiness in, to be prepared for Battlefield Four. So, yeah, I wait the processor again and the graphics card this time. Or I could just sell the whole system besides the one tech. I have like three drives. I got the SSD, the super fast drive, uh, keep that, keep the one terabyte hard drive, and just sell everything else with the 250 gig, sell the whole entire computer, and it'll just rebuild with the um, a new generation uh, computer. Or I might just pass the computer down to a family member. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, so I'm most likely gonna sell it, you know, um, and because uh, I don't think any of my family members could use it, you know. Uh, and uh, I'm really ready. I'm ready for this, you know. And I, I I couldn't care less about Call of Duty right now. And you have to thank uh, Black Ops for that, to be honest. You really do have to thank them. I thank you, Treyarch, for making such a shitty game. The controls, I don't know. It's probably me. My I don't think anybody else could complain about the control. Everybody else complain about the lag. That is an issue. That is a big issue. But with me, the controls uh, from on the PC. I don't know if it's on the consoles. I don't know how many times I have to stress this. Uh, 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 Treyarch, uh, Black Ops 2, is smooth, and that's bad for me. I don't like smooth. It's like you move this way. It doesn't move immediately this way. It swerves in closely. It swerves in really slow. And you know, it stops like that. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Just swerve like that, you know? And in Modern Warfare 3, it just like it goes like really quick. And you know, there's no smoothing. You know, like it doesn't it it, it comes to an abrupt stop. And with Treyarch, Black Ops 2, it doesn't, it just smooth in. Like anybody want that? You know, anybody got time for that. Uh so uh that's one of the bad things about this game. I, I can't stand it. You know, and it just throws me off. And now that I've been, I, I tried playing the game again yesterday, after about a week or so, not touching it. I just, I just couldn't touch. It was so boring, and I don't know. I just didn't want to touch the game, you know. And I just went right over to Battlefield 3, and all in, got the premium and everything, got all uh, 
what 20 maps or so how many maps it is for it i'm, I'm not really sure got the end game and everything and the game is really fun the game is really exciting the controls are nice they're actually servers that actually work properly and uh you know what i'm when battlefield 4 comes out i'm gonna go all in i'm gonna go if it's a hundred dollars for battlefield 4 with premium i'm going in i'm buying that they have my full support they do as for call of duty i just might buy modern warfare 4 if that's coming out if that's such a thing i'm gonna stay away from treyarch i'm gonna build me a little nice fence and stay away from treyarch because i'm never buying another call of duty uh black ops game ever Probably not, because, you know, it's two different companies building the game. One of my hands is tired, so now I switch the camera. Switch the hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, let me just check the time really quick here. Oh, my God, five minutes. Are you serious? Only five minutes. Okay, whatever. Just, just stress some stuff out. All right, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not going to be buying another Black Ops game. Modern Warfare, on the other hand, yes. Even though Modern Warfare 3 was kind of a disappointment, you know, I still enjoyed it. Um, not, not really any kind of problems. Not really a lot of lag. Um, the only thing, it, it kind of looked bland and um, what? Not that much of an upgrade. But it's Call of Duty and it's an arcade fun game. And you know, I, I didn't see a problem with it, and a lot of people did. And uh, I, I, I kind of didn't really want to play Call of Duty for the graphics, but just for the fun, you know, it's uh, close quarters, uh, very close, and it's just instantly in action. As soon as, as soon as you step foot, you get shot. So, yeah, and, and if um, in, in Battlefield 4, uh, they said that how that's what they're going to do. They're going to um, include more close quarter maps. Like this one right now that you're watching. This is a close quarter maps. It's a small map in the area, the locked off lot of areas. It's really small here in this little tight area. You and 64 people, 63 include me. You know, uh, it's a lot of fun and I love it because you know I love the close quarters. I don't want to have to really run across the map. Sometimes I do play the game where you, you, you know the large scale and you got to run across the entire desert. To kill someone sometimes like playing that but i kind of enjoy close quarters a little bit more i'm like a lot more even though 64 players uh and um you know large conquests large maps where it's really long it could take you like two minutes to get on the other side or a minute whatever to get on the other side of the map uh, i kind of like that you know kind of put a little bit of realism into the game and uh i actually I, I do enjoy it, you know, once you're playing with friends, you know, it's, it's enjoyable and your friends team up and uh, you play it and, uh, and it's really fun. So, I still do enjoy close quarters. So, it's a good thing that, the, oh god, it's tired again. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good thing that they're actually bringing a lot more close quarter maps. Maybe all the maps could be both close and large conquest, large area, close area, whatever one you choose, whatever map. Um, this would definitely kind of make me leave Call of Duty. The only thing I would make a uh, miss with Call of Duty if I leave it completely, which I probably won't do, because I still have fun playing Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I gotta get back into that one. That one's kinda, there's not that many people online, so it's kind of hard to get a gameplay with Modern Warfare 2. Pause. I need to check the time. Yay! Eight minutes! Alright, this is great. About two minutes before I go and eat. Look, look at the same. I was saying, the only thing I'll, I'll actually miss in um, Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty, uh, would be the, the per. The, shh, no, come on, per. You got that uh, Battlefield. Uh, the, it would, the care packages, you know, that, that was that was this really cool. I like it, um, but I don't think I'll leave. Well, it depends on how it goes, you know, the road it goes. It, it, Call of Duty just kind of is boring, you know. After Modern Warfare Two, I think it went not hell. And if we played Black Ops One. Uh, so I can't really comment on that. Um, so, Modern Warfare 2 for me was the best. So some people just Call of Duty 4. Your choice, your preference. I haven't played Call of Duty 4. I played uh, Modern Warfare 2 and I enjoyed it. I <laughs> logged over a thousand hours. And it was a lot of fun playing that game. Every day I'll be on that shit and just <laughs> shoot people in the face and all that. You know, so I really I did enjoy it. So I can't wait for Battlefield 4 to come out. It has my full support. No more Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 4 maybe or whatever other mono warfare they're gonna call it 
Um, as long as it's probably created by Activision and not by Treyarch, then I'm all in. Maybe looking at some uh, reviews, looking at some gameplays. I'm, I'm, I'm done pre-ordering. I will never pre-order. Oh my god, I'm at 10 minutes in. Okay. Um, I'm done pre-ordering, so I'm done with that. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Peace!